The content you're about to enjoy comes from the archives of The Best You. We're devoted to the very best in personal development. With a magazine and resources dedicated to inspiring and changing people's lives, at The Best You, we work with the world's leading writers and trainers on the evolution of the self and people whose journeys have been affected by their work and words. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. We're back and we're going to be introducing you to Nicola Smith-Jackson. Now, Nicola is already a co-founder of The Best You TV, but she has a fantastic and a brilliant story. Uh, she's Well, she started from humble beginning as a, uh, an overworked hairstylist and college dropout. Serial entrepreneur Dame Dr. Nicola Jackson has over 25 years of entrepreneurial experience. Nicola is passionate about helping people to create growth mindset so they can develop their purpose and create work-life balance. She uh, also helps them reach to their full potential by empowering them with financial literacy, money management, and fostering economic development. Very, very important things. So, uh, Nicola, thank you so much. I am very excited. I'm looking forward to listening to your talk. So thank you so much for joining us and being here today. Thank you, Bernardo. And thank you again for the opportunity. The Best You TV will definitely be a household name. So hello, how are you? It's Dame Nicola Smith-Jackson. I'm very grateful to be here to share with you five power moves that you can make to earn more income now. Isn't that what most people are looking for? You know, I know for myself, you know, there was another downturn in the economy in 2008 and I was at overwork hairstylist. I also had my side gig in real estate and my husband also was doing construction, but guess what? Everything was tanking at the same time. And I just wish that there was someone who would give me specific guidance at that time for what I can do to turn things around. Gratefully enough, I fell on a new business and, you know, used skills that I had in my, you know, as a hairstylist and I grew uh, what people would call a little mini empire. Well, guess what? First generation to do something, but that was extremely hard. So what I'm here to do right now is to help you understand that in the midst of the downturning economy, well, we're going back up. I'm not sure if you've already heard that, but we are. And so I want you to have hope. So I'm going to share these five power moves that you can make. They're moves that I make and continue to make on how I didn't only survive, but thrive in the economy and continue to help masses of people do the same thing. So the first thing that you want to do is we talked about a little bit, the mindset. We want to have a mindset adjustment. Why? Because things are always going to continue to change. But wherever there's an obstacle, there's an opportunity. The way that we literally create wealth is by creating solutions for problems. So we have a big problem when we start thinking about every sector has been hit and it's been extremely hard. We've lost loved ones. We've lost money. We've lost, you know, our bearings on even who we are sometimes, even in a country, the country I live in, in America. However, whenever those changes are happening and anything go down, it's now the opportunity for the emerging markets, the emerging people, people who want to come up. And so that means this is your time. And so when you do that, the next thing you want to do is take a real look at your finances, right? Take a panoramic look at where your finances are now and create a budget, not off of what you had before, but where you are now. Now, it doesn't matter how much money you earn, a budget is necessary. And so if you can start doing that uh, and really paying attention to what is coming in versus what is going out. I don't want you to get caught up in if there is a deficit. I don't want you to get caught up in if there is a surplus. I want you to just know how much more do you want to earn? And so this is a time right more than ever for you to think about becoming a business owner. I know you've heard of the four quadrants, right? Uh, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, he has that. And, and, and everyone have used this when you, you know, we have a lot of entrepreneur employees who now are becoming, you know, entrepreneurs, but then now we want to become business owners and we can do that bigger than ever. Nowadays, we don't need a traditional, uh, 
brick and mortar businesses to become big business owners and then eventually become investors. However, we got to start where we are. So when you start thinking about business now, if you're starting out, think about businesses that are highly leveraged, meaning you can do a lot more with less money and less effort. So look at businesses that may have a low investment with a higher rate of return and being able to use maybe some skills you already have, or maybe skills that you even used in your job. You'll be so surprised, even with the huge emergence of entrepreneurs, where what you probably did at your job, and that was mundane for you, can be the missing piece for another small entrepreneur, and you can turn that into a business. Sometimes you don't have to be the front face of the business. You can make a ton of money being the support of the business. You've seen Zoom, right? Zoom supported businesses on how we would be able to have meetings without that. And just like the best UTV, we'll be able to support businesses. But let me tell you something. There's no business too small that cannot scale to big. So when you think about that, I want you to also think about with your business, maybe who would your ideal client go to before they come to you? Who would they come to after they've come to you, whatever product and service you offer? And then where would they go instead? This will now help you to create leverage streams of income around what you do. And now you'll also be able to collaborate and support other businesses. This creates relationship capital. What many people are really unaware of going into the business world is how important relationship capital is. Providing even a support or even resources for other businesses that may be related to you. And you could literally acquire maybe affiliate links from these businesses that this could be money, maybe your client. Hey, listen, they, 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 you offer the service, but maybe right after that service, they may need a continuity program that you don't offer. You can connect with that other business owner and they can, you can get a piece of the pie every time. This will create a great ecosystem of cross pollination, you know, and I can tell you, we've been able to accumulate great friends, support, and you'll never even feel alone. So this is extremely important in talking about highly leveraged businesses. But now what you want to do is with the money that you earn from the business, obviously you want to feed that business. First, you want to have total immersion and concentrated focus in building that business so that you can move that business into profit. Well, it doesn't matter how small or large of the profit, you take portions of that profit and now you invest. If you're interested in finding your true purpose, if you're interested in finding your legacy, if you're interested in growing, if you are sick and tired of reading books that don't help you, haven't helped you, or are not helping you, or attending courses and seminars that haven't really had an impact in your life, I invite you to read my book, The Question, Find Your True Purpose, out now. For more information, go to www.thequestion.co. If you're interested in working with me, contributing, speaking at any of our many events, partnering or licensing The Best You, for more information, go to www.thebestyou.co. You can literally uh, start off with even, you know, Robinhood.com. This is where even if you have a hundred dollars, you could literally start investing and having your money work harder than you. This is one of the reasons that many Americans and people in the world ended up in issues around money was because the money was not working harder than them. This is not a rich idea. This is an idea that anyone can use and scale. Can you imagine even you having maybe an extra $500? And even if you could not have afforded a full, um, you know, maybe a crypto coin or maybe a, um, a stock, maybe, you know, in Tesla, that you could actually have that $500 buy whatever you could buy. Robinhood.com is a great opportunity for you to check that out. But what you want to know is that money can be growing along with you. I'm not giving you advice specifically and say, go buy a specific stock. But what I am doing is opening you up to the idea that you want to have your money working harder than you all the time. And now this is creating, as I first described in step one, two and three, now you're having streams of income that you're not necessarily working for. 
Just don't you need time for your family? Don't you need time for your romantic love? You say, well, I don't have one. Well, maybe because we buried ourselves in work, but now we're able to take a full assessment. And with this, we're looking at prioritizing our life. You know, I can tell you when I first started, you know, getting an idea, I moved out of, you know, going from, you know, just week to week because I had a business um, into really building wealth. It was when I prioritized my life and said, you know what? Yeah, I want to have above average income, but I don't want to be away from home all the time. I want to have time with my family. I want to spend time with my mom. I want to spend time with me. And then I created my life, that vision, and said, you know what? I reverse engineered my vision into my profit, not the profit before the vision. And then now I was able to build a life where I work primarily off from home. I don't miss a game of my kid. I'm there for my older children, my grandchildren, my husband and I, we re-sparked our love. And then you don't have to worry about the bank account all during a pandemic. You could do it too. And that's because of identifying what do you want to really experience? Some people are afraid to even ask for what they really want because they don't believe they can get it. I used to think that same way, but you can try this. You can try this. And then after that, the fifth thing you can do is I highly encourage you to get help. Hang out with some peeps who may know a little bit more than you. Always. You never want to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. Find places, masterminds, groups of people that you know what? Not will only be like-minded and support you and make you feel good, but that will challenge you. That will give you a bigger insight that maybe you're thinking too small. I did that. And what I did was I invested in myself. And so I encourage you that whatever mountain of influence you decide to, you know, be in business, whether it's in from spiritual to education, maybe to media and art, or maybe you want to go into um, just the business world. You want to know that there's always businesses within businesses and you could literally create major impact and earn an income right now. And so this is what I want to leave you with. I want you to really Take a check in with your heart. I know our hearts have been probably broken by all of what we've seen. But a lot of that we can't control. But can't we control how we think, what we feel? Sometimes we don't think we can. So I want to leave you with a few mind hacks because you got to get into your head before anybody else does. I can tell you if I hadn't learned these things, I don't know. Maybe I would have thought I wasn't good enough. Maybe I would have thought I wasn't the right gender or not the right color or race, whatever. But this has helped me become very confident in who I am. And I've used this to show people that everyone has value. Doesn't matter what you've been through. Doesn't matter what you're going through now. So for me, you know, the first thing I do is I I do prayer. I pray every day. I literally, you know, prayer had been such a part of my life that I incorporated in business. I'm not telling you to incorporate in your business, but you could incorporate it in your life. And even if prayer for you is just simply gratitude, thinking about things that you're grateful for, not the big stuff, practice being grateful for the small stuff. Maybe that you even opened your eyes and that you can see. Maybe that you can smell. That's something good, right? Maybe that, hey, even if I don't have a home right now, at least I'm alive. We can start there. Gratitude opens up appreciation for yourself, even in others. Another thing we could do is we can meditate. Sometimes taking six deep breaths where you can breathe in what you really want out of life and breathe out what's stressing you out. You can do that six times, deep breaths, like I'm breathing in peace. I'm breathing out chaos. You can do that six times. I'm breathing in confidence. 
I'm breathing out insecurity. Whatever it is that you really want, take that deep breath and breathe it in. It belongs there. And you can easily breathe out slowly. And you can do that whenever you want. If you're interested in watching the video content of this interview and many others, or interested in learning from world leaders and teachers, go to www.thebestyou.online. Next thing you can do is maybe create an anchor for yourself. Well, an anchor is just a little reminder of what you want to remember, the positive stuff. Can you think of a time that you were happy, a moment you were happy? Maybe just a, just a little moment. Maybe it was when you got your first car. Doesn't matter how long ago it was. Maybe when you got your diploma from high school. Maybe when it was your parent told you, good job. Go back to that moment briefly with me and just see it all over again. See whatever else was around you, whatever it was. And when you started smiling, I want you to stay right there. And then you can create an anchor, whether if you got a bracelet that you can flip off and that would remind you of that, whether it's a yes kind of thing that you can do before you do anything that makes you afraid. But you can't rely on only outside things to come in to make you whole. Many a times you're going to be by yourself doing this. And so creating anchors are so powerful. Doing visualization is super powerful. I told you about creating that vision of your life, but put that in places where you can see. I literally have a vision board and a vision movie that I offer to um, many of my clients, whoever wants it. And this is now where they can go through their entire life, but they can see it every day. Reminding them why they must not quit. Reminding them why you must keep going. You know that the mind does not know time. You watch that board or those visualization movies every day. Your mind will believe that you're there right now and you'll start materializing many more things. And then I want you to do some self-care. Self-care. Fear of missing out is having us missing out. You know, when it's all said and done, it's about whenever we're done doing our work here, who is that going to be most important to? Our loved ones. I want you to take good care of yourself because the healthier you are from the inside out is the more income you can earn without getting burnt out. So I want to connect the dots between the have and happiness, whatever it is, right? There were so many things I had to go without in my life. And now that I have them and figured out a way to get it over and over systematically and simply, I think everyone should know. So thank you so much. The best you XO. I'm so grateful for best you TV. I want you to stay tuned gather from the people who really care about you, even if they haven't met you. And that will inspire you to start caring more about you too. So thank you. These were the five power moves that you can take to make more income right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, that was lovely, Nicola. And, and so to the point, so valuable and 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 your approach is is just makes absolute sense so um it's about having your money working for you not the other way around and unfortunately a lot of people just work for the paycheck and then <laughs> they spend it all and don't invest it and i know I, I i used to hear it in the old days well long long time ago oh if you just put 10 percent away and you invest 10 percent <laughs> you know what and, and and i remember when i was young i used to laugh at that i can't put 10 percent away and i realized over the years i could put a lot more than that away <laughs> if you put it to work and you were talking about tesla actually funny enough i bought tesla i think it was last year um last year and 
two hundred and twenty percent, two hundred and forty percent in eighteen months, it, and it, and it and it just keeps growing. And and you know, and and that was just an example. And funny enough, I I did use Robin Hood for a little while as well. So just some very simple but very basic and great advice. But it's very it can go advanced because many what we don't understand is that many people in the world, sixty seven percent of the world is financially illiterate. So in that standpoint, I don't want anyone to take that to offense. It just means that you don't know how to manage money for a lifetime and and meaning that where your money can even outlive you. Right. And so when we begin to think about that, we'd never be able to labor ourselves into wealth or more than enough. The the average millennial, they're saying they're going to need two million dollars by the time that they retire. So that means that if you can look at the world changing and how you would need over 30 plus thousand dollars for one Bitcoin. And now the banks are starting to accept that we have to move swiftly and understand that everything is pointing to the basics that we probably should have done, but wasn't doing. And so it's extremely important that we don't make a person believe that they're going to need a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars to get started. Start with what you have and let it grow because the power of compounding, Albert Einstein said it's the eighth wonder of the world. And then you can start using that in business models as well. And so that compounding has been tremendous for me and it has been a game changer for allowing me to have more time for my family. And I hear people say, you look younger. So I look, I just kind of turned back as a time, you know, this last year. And that was because I wasn't up and down on planes like I used to have to. I had that money working for me, but I had already planted that seed and I was able to see. I wasn't afraid when I saw the downturn because I knew that even if there's some companies that go down, there are going to be other companies coming up to be the new solutions. So I encourage people, don't only in the individual stocks, maybe look at ETFs as well, um, exchange trade funds. These are where they're a combination or even broad index. This is where you can actually, you know, have, you know, bigger play in the market, with less money and protect the net principle. So well, they we're just saying that if, you know, anyone, I mean, I think Warren Buffett came up with that. I mean, anyone that invested in the Dow Jones just simply on the small average growth of one, 2% per annum. You know, You'll never lose. You'll never lose. It, when, when maybe one company is down or up, it'll just replace the whatever position in the S&P 500, 100, or the small mid cap, wherever they are, it'll just replace. So therefore your money will still be growing. You'll have corrections, but it won't be as hard of a you know? <laughs> Yeah. Well, Nicola, very excited about having you on board. Very excited in working with you. And um, I'm very, very grateful for what you shared here today. So thank you so much. Thank you, Fernando. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. For more information, go to www.thebestyou.co.